Hey guys, and welcome back to Blue Stinger. When we last left off, we'd finished the power plant and we managed to do battle with another beast. And we got Elliot's rocket launcher, which is pretty damn rad, if I say so myself. So, ah, bloody hell. Lasers. Lasers! Actually, uh, we're going to need some serious speed. Serious speed that only the blue blur can achieve. Uh, not that blue blur though. No, no. I of course mean Elliot, the hassy, quaffing demon from beyond the moon. Jesus. Okay, I legitimately don't know how you're meant to avoid these shots that well. I mean, eh, kind of ish. Zigzaggy kind of works until they get one hit on you and stun lock you, and then you're kind of shit out of luck. Right, okay, yeah. Hmm, we know where we are. Anyway, let's quaff one of those hassies that we've heard so much about. Food. Uh, oh, God, we're actually really tearing into the large hassies, huh? And whilst Elliot tears into his hassies, I'm going to tear into my coffee. Oh, you know, this is... Uh, I'm recording this uh, game in a manner that I don't actually like doing. Each episode is basically fresh off the press. Um, I'm recording it, rendering it, and then uploading it the next morning. Um, <laughs> I usually like to be a week at least. Like a full, fat seven days ahead of my recordings. Um, but <laughs> the time has not been so kind. Anyway... Locked from the inside? Bullshit! That's no good. That's no good. Locked from the inside? What the hell do you think this is? We've got a car key though, so... Hmm. Damn, well, we weren't exactly prepared for that, were we? Maybe we should have been. So I guess we're going to go this way, question mark? I guess so. I mean, it's the only way that we have, although we do have, I, uh, god damn it, we do actually have, technically, god, fuck you laser, seriously, like, I'm stunlocked, I can't move, I literally cannot move, like, uh, what, wh what can we do here, we're dead, uh, we are actually stunlocked, yeah, um, oh no, we managed to somehow break out of it. Oh, hang on. My control pad's acting up again. I was like, what, what, what is this? My controller act, oh. I might have to send this controller back. Ah, oh, that's gonna be a massive pain in the dick. Hmm. You know what would have made this controller better, actually? Is if they had uh, made it wireless. Because a wire is always going to be the weak link. Uh, there is a company making a wireless Dreamcast control pad. And it's supposed to be out towards the end of the year. However, one thing that displeases me greatly about it... Yeah, we'll go for the large. One thing that pleases me just greatly about it is uh, it is the original Dreamcast design, but instead of having the four fuck off, instead of having the four face buttons, it's got six. Um, I think this control pad for the Dreamcast, from a layout standpoint, is absolutely perfection. Um, yeah, we're having these problems again. Although the VMU is having problems and that's probably squeaking down the microphone is it the controller or the vmu mm. you in you in you're in huh gonna be one of those days isn't it hmm okay maybe it's the vmu connector I don't know, man. Oh, shit. Coming in hot. Literally. Boom, baby. Yeah, get another one of those out. Oof. Wait, did you... Did you miss? Uh, maybe. We might have missed. 
Uh, I really hit this, this control pad, man. I guess if it is faulty, we can legitimately moan like old men and women and be like, hey, don't make them like they used to. Back in my day, control pads used to last more than a couple of weeks. And cost half the money, but you know, that's neither here nor there, I suppose. Everything uh, gaming related these days is extremely expensive. Hell, the rumours for the price of the new consoles is eye-watering. Uh, I was hoping to get one on launch. Uh, at least get the PlayStation 5 on launch, but... I, I don't know, man. Uh, yeah, it depends. It really depends. I wish Sony and Microsoft would stop fucking around with their thumbs up their ass and actually come out and tell us the price. If it's going to be expensive and no one can afford it, fair enough, but let us know, yeah? I, I think we're all geared up. And we're all in the mindset that these new machines are going to be absolutely eye-wateringly expensive. Uh, I'm hearing $500, $600. Um, and then you've got all the big YouTubers like, well, I'm going to get them on day one. And you're like, yes, well, you have millions of dollars. Us mere mortals will uh, struggle, I think. Which... Leads me to think this is actually quite smart what Microsoft is doing. Having all of the games uh, available uh, on the older machines, so at least you can play the games. With, I mean, it, like I say, speculation at this point. Um, but if the systems really are that expensive, there ain't going to be many people picking up PlayStation 5s on launch. I don't know many people that would shell out 500 pounds plus for a games console including people that I know that have fairly well paid jobs right uh, okay so can we go through here yet I guess this is where we're going a uh, yes okay cool we have the car key though what's that for we kind of need to make a detour. What is it? Neffy? Neffy? Yes? Uh. Containment breach. Yeah. Well, well, well. Um, Nephi is giving Janine a headache with pictures there. Janine! You did this? Hmm. I guess she's not on our side after all. She's only having to sit down. Bloody hell. She's aight. I'm fine. Nephilim is not an enemy. I can see now what she's trying to tell us. But... but Go on. Well, it's a vision. Hard to describe in words. She's not human. <laughs> no shit! I mean, she's still an intelligent life form. But well, how should I phrase it? It's as if her body and soul can be detached. The Nephilim we see now is her soul. Her body is in a different place. Ah. Yeah. Well, that's interesting. Her body is in a different place. Hmm. Right. Well. Take care. <laughs> okay then. Thanks for the Take plot care. dump. Smell you later, I guess. Well, either she's been huffing her own fumes, and that's the biggest load of bullshit uh, ever, or. 
maybe there's more to this than what meets the eye. Nephi, eh? Are you trying to tell me that weird floating ghostly apparition is not human? No. Never. Don't believe you. Bollocks. Rubbish. Looks like my uh, neighbor, Bill. Yes, yes. He sometimes turns see-through and ghostly and floats around. Well, maybe that was a dream. I can't remember now. Right. Let's deal with you. And we need to go all the way back to Lab Town because we have... We actually have the key card. For... Um... The club, yes, yes. Memories are returning to me. Are you still here, dude? You're still here. You're having a good time. Watch out there. Watch out there. Yeah. Uh, try not to, like, die of old age here, buddy. Oh, yeah. Of course. This this dude's back. Well, we might as well not uh, throw the opportunity to slice and dice mutants. So, I wonder if... Uh, if part of the mutation process is your wallet also mutates and becomes bulbous and full of coins. Kind of like a mutant wallet tumor that explodes on death. Huh. The door is locked. No, I don't like locked doors. Um, let's keep going. Unless I'm going the wrong way again. Which is legitimately possible. Um, when I, I think when I originally played this, uh, or LP'd this, I should say, I did it pretty much back to back. I think I sat down and recorded it in huge batches, whereas at the moment I'm recording it every few days. Uh, every few days, if I'm lucky. Sometimes I record a couple of episodes, so it's like up to five days since I've played it. So I keep kind of forgetting where I am and what I'm doing. Kind of, but I'm pretty sure this is correct. I, that's right, we're on the right way, okay. I legitimately thought we'd gone the wrong way there. And I was like, damn, how am I gonna explain my utter incompetence to you guys? But then you guys expect a, a, a certain high level of incompetence from me. Oh, hey friend. Sorry, I was drinking coffee. Oh, you little sod. That won't do. That will not do. How dare you tag me whilst I drink coffee. Coffee is an essential part of the Let's Playing business. Unless you don't like coffee, in which case you're just wrong. But hey, we'll go with it. Ugh, there we go. Legends do speak of those in the ancient texts that uh, do not enjoy coffee, do not consume caffeine of any... Oh man, can you imagine? Hang on, I should probably be careful about saying consumption of caffeine. There's probably somebody out there that's going to be offended by that. But then, if I started ragging on people that eat glue, there'd be people offended at that as well. Right. But then, you know, if you get offended by some words, then you probably should uh, stay away from the internet, to be honest. Life's going to be very hard for you, I'm afraid. Right, there we go. Yeah, it's just because you're offended by something doesn't mean you can uh, impose that on other people. You can, uh, you know, either ignore it and keep your mouth shut or lock yourself away in a safe space. There we go. Right, all right, all right. Now, we need to go... Ah, oh, right, yeah, okay. So we need to push this thing back. Now, I used to think dogs, like, push 
heavy objects faster, but I'm not actually convinced that he does. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I was talking to a guy um, that I speak to quite often at work, actually. He's a framer. And um, he was saying some pretty offensive racist stuff. And I was like, oh, you can't say that anymore. And he's like, why not? Because it's offensive. And he's like, yeah, but it's just jokes. It's like, yeah, well, you've got to be careful these days. And he's like, you know, I tell people to get offended by my humor. I said, no. I tell them to fuck off. And I thought, a little tear welled up in my eye. And I thought, you, sir, you're one of the few greats left. You can't change characters right now. Why not? Why not? Really? So we have to swim. But dogs can't swim, though. Why? Can we really not change characters here? Is that because you're meant to be Elliot here? Um, I mean, there's plenty of jokes that I find distasteful and certainly, you know, don't necessarily agree with. But hey, I'll defend to the death the right for that person to say these things. As long as you're not being malicious to someone. Uh, yes, swimming. I forgot. As long as it's just in humor. Who gives a shit? Uh, but then we are dinosaurs from a from a time long gone. I've noticed a lot of the younger uh, people that I speak to, you know, in their early 20s and stuff, they're really into this whole... Um, uh, I don't, I, would you call it snow... I, mean, I don't even know what you call it. Like hypersensitive? culture it really is quite fascinating how the the lengths that some of these people will go to be offended by nothing I don't know whether to be impressed by it sometimes anyway uh, I believe we was playing blue stinger yes we were or were we putting the world to rights once more I think we were putting the world to rights come on Elliot breathe there we go all right, let's go. Ah, I got some stories about people being offended, but uh, <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh god, I'm remembering a few. Uh, probably not a good place to um, talk about said said stories, right? Because nothing offends me. I don't get offended by anything. I laugh at everything. I laugh at myself. I don't give a fuck. You live once. Enjoy your short time on this planet. Because before long, you're all going to be dust anyway. So, who gives a shit? Right, anyway. Uh, let's go make some monsters into some dust piles. Or at least Swiss cheese. I do love my dark and black humour. Oh, the darker... The better. Right, come on. Come on. Wow, this shotgun is really ineffective. Yeah, okay. Shotgun is... You know, I do kind of remember this weapon being quite spicy. I guess it really isn't, though. Well, you're gone. Whoa! I love those guys. They just literally pay out. They pay out very nicely. Yes. Can't leave those guys alive walking around with those money tumors like that. Those big bulging money warts. Now, let's yeah, let's go back to the bank before we do anything. Because we've got some uh, fraud to uh, carry out. Some theft. And the meaning, uh, through the guise of survival, I suppose. Yes, yes. It's not fraud or theft, it's survival. We need your hard-earned money to buy weapons. Yes. Oh, God, yeah, this place is a bit spicy. Boom! Right. 
Are you not running at me? I'm genuinely surprised about that. All right, here comes the other guy. Damn it. If they did remake this, I would love to see more enemies. But I'd like to see them completely overhaul the combat system. Make it so, you know, make it more refined, like a proper beat-em-up, maybe. Kind of like Streets of Rage or something. The combat is very slow and archaic in this game. It doesn't help the control pack keeps cutting out, but in all fairness, that hasn't really been impacting the combat much. Alright. So, there's Rat's Bar. Let's go back to the bank. We have two... Key card. Uh, two ATMs. This is an ATM machine. Use Elliot's ATM card. No, because we're broke. Uh, have we... Did we use this one? I think that was one... There's no money in this account. Deadbeat! Deadbeat! Nope. Nope. I. Right, so the passcode for that is 1861. Okay, now in the Japanese version, there was significantly more money in these uh, cards. Use any. Uh, nope. 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 I. And this is thirteen ninety-four. Two thousand, yeah, yeah. In the Japanese uh, version, one of those cards actually had uh six thousand in it. One of them has like five thousand and one of them has six thousand or something like that. <laughs> Confused the hell out of me when I was um, following a guide. But, you know. Um, it, unfortunately, that's just the way it is. I mean, we've got plenty of money anyway. I suppose we could go back and buy some juicy weapons. I'm talking about juicy weapons. The shotgun. You know, guys, the shotgun's really shit, actually. Which is interesting. I remember really, really enjoying the shotgun. But this ain't it, Chief. I don't know why. I mean, the handgun is a fairly decent weapon. And it stays consistently decent through most of the game. At least against, like, the basic enemies and stuff. But the shotgun, holy crap, man. That's... It's just weak. Absolutely weak source. Yeah. And the handgun's just quite satisfying to use as well. Oh, God. Yeah, and it actually, like, stuns the enemies as well, which is nice. Yeah. Uh, the ammo is much, much, much cheaper as well for the handgun. The handgun ammo is cheap as chips. It's like, what, 50 bucks a magazine or something crazy? Oh, no. Almost, almost fell for it. Almost fell for that shiny coin. Ah, uh, that juicy, delicious, sweet, shiny golden coin almost, uh, almost made me make a boo-boo. Hey, friend. How would you like some of my stun sword? You don't like that, huh? Give me your coins. All your money belongs to me. Every penny counts. So, uh, we are... Oh, yeah. Hey, friend. Really, dude? Give me your money! Uh, please don't stun lock me into the corner. Uh, I don't like being stun locked. Right. There we go. Really? You, sir, can kiss my loopy ass. Oh, you know, fuck you, pal. Seriously, I've had enough of you. There we go. Ugh, that was spicy. That was like a bad burrito, you know? Oof, seems like a good idea at the time, but uh, 
Yeah. 24 hours later, you realize you've made a bad decision. Ooh. Well, something went down here. In fact, quite a few things went down in here. Most of the guests, by the look of things. Oh, God. There ain't a lot left here. Nothing left but bits. There's loads of hassies around. Why are people drinking energy drink? Oh, hang on. Best not think about that too much. Hey, I wonder if Duke Nukem's here somewhere. Duke! And she's wearing a pretty funky outfit, man. I like that. That, like, Asian, kind of, like, Chinesey dress. Me a fan. Now, we can go behind there. What is that? If we could actually, like, get up on this table. There we are. Yeah. A steak plate. Son of a bitch. You know, I vaguely remember... Having a steak plate here. This is how you can tell this place is for the truly elite. Look at that. Full hill. Get in my belly. Uh, right. Cool. I mean, you know, fairly generic club setting, I guess. But cool, nonetheless. Ooh. Oh, man. Oh, man. Look at that. We now have the Ray Sword for free. Ammo for... Elliot's rocket launcher. So this is a totally missable area. And Elliot now has 11 rounds for his bazooka and the ray sword. The ray sword is very similar to the stun rod, but way more powerful. Um, Kimtech LB120 Ray Razard. Razard? I like that. This laser sword is approximately one meter in length and can cut through titanium plates with a single slash. Yeah, it's a lightsaber, you know, let's not fuck yeah. around. But it is insanely powerful, which we will go demonstrate in a second. At least I remember it being pretty damn powerful anyway. It's spicy, for sure. Now, it is a little bit slower than the stun rod, you know. Uh, but I'm pretty sure the damage output of it is way higher. Now, if we wanted to buy this sword, we could have got it a lot earlier. Whoa. Yeah, he's done. Let's stun this guy. Oh, yes. Yes. Does Yeah, look at that, man. Two hits. And the white guy is down. Dude. That's fucking savage. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely makes up for the fact that it's a little bit slower. So yeah, we could have got this weapon a lot earlier. And it would have cost us the princely sum of 8,000 Chimera Tech dollars. Would it have been worth buying it earlier? Maybe. Maybe. Uh, if you're into your grinding, then it could have been worth it. Now we've got the car key. I uh, can't remember where we actually used the car key to. But we do need to go shopping. Just pretty much for ammo. Uh, maybe get another weapon, I suppose. There's a couple of weapons that we could get, I guess. But they're kind of more for fun, really. They're not really weapons that we're going to legitimately use. Um, or we could totally top out on ammo. Which, again, that's not a bad shout, to be honest. But uh, I could save it there. You know what I'm going to do, guys. Uh, I'm going to end the episode here. I'm going to go save it inside the, the mart. I'm not going to save it here. And that is going to cut out the swim back. Because the swim back is pretty AIDS. I'm pretty sure we can all agree that the swim back is AIDS. Don't care about shotgun ammo, to be honest with you. Uh, I, I was going to say, I'm, yeah, we pretty much tapped out on that. Uh, I don't want the shotgun ammo. The shotgun's just AIDS. It really is. In fact... I was going to just burn off this handgun ammo, but there's no point doing that. Um, right, so guys, I'm going to go swim back, and I'm going to save it back in the uh, shopping center. And when we come back, we're going to do some shopping. And it's going to be great, and we're going to buy loads of weapons. Maybe a laser gun. The laser gun is fun. Oh, I guess we could get the plasma gun, and the... Oh, there is there are some weapons we can play with, I suppose, but... They're, they're not that useful to be honest, but uh, who knows? 
my brain is fickle. My opinions and my mind is very fickle at the moment. So maybe uh, between now and the next video, I'll change my mind. But anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. And as always, till next time.